Oh, hey, hey. Oh, hey. Okay. <laughs> wow. Ah, oh, so great. So good. I love it so much. Um... And welcome to GT Not Live, where I'm alone in the couch at the scariest hour of the day, 7 a.m. <laughs> no! Start of a new day. Ah! Scariest hour. Um, no, I guess, to me, 3 a.m. So, fun fact, I'm still working on the Walton Files episode. Uh, we're doing, we're doing a, a film theory, if not more, on Walton Files. It's a big series. There's a lot to unpack, especially for something that... Uh, not necessarily a lot of our audience will have been exposed to in the first place, so you have to kind of like level set with a bunch of stuff. But a lot of my research for this has been happening after the hours of midnight um, and 1 a.m. And it's not fun, friends. Uh, <laughs> I know a lot of people like meme and comment and make jokes about, I shouldn't have watched this after midnight. It's, it's true. You shouldn't. Take it from me as the person who is making the video commenting and putting together the pieces of these videos and having to rewatch sections over and over again and dig deep into it and also concoct the horrors in his own mind of like, what is the awful thing that this story is telling me right now? Uh, let me immerse myself in that so I can communicate it to an audience and tell like my own version of this horror story. Uh, so it's taking me to some weird places at some really uncomfortable hours of the day. Uh, but anyway, Maybe I've jumped ahead of myself here too much. Hey guys, welcome to GT Live, where we're not live. Joke, joke, joke. But uh, today we are continuing our exploration of the Walton Files. Uh, we've already done two parts of this. I've been really enjoying it. You've been really enjoying it. It is this amazing series that is just rife for theory fodder, uh, for putting the pieces together. There's a lot of really cool, really interesting information here. Um, it's, it's really, I've been having a great time researching it. Ideally, when the sun is still in the sky, uh, because once you start letting the stuff seep into your mind late at night, uh, it becomes a lot harder to sleep, let me just say that. Um, I've had a lot more productive evenings thanks to this. Uh, I'm watching these videos, I'm writing scripts, and then it's like, well, can't really go to sleep now, so I guess I should record something, I suppose. Um, but I wanted to continue our exploration together. Uh, last time when we left off things, we were... Um, about midway, a little over midway, uh, through tape two, or upload two of this series. Uh, right now, Walton Files is kind of mostly found in three main uploads, three canon uploads, uh, officially called Walton Files. There's a couple of non-canon videos mixed in. Uh, we do have Photoshop now installed on the computer so we can brighten and lower images as we go through it. Uh, but really what these have been is us theory crafting in real time, you guys getting a sense of how... I do these theories, it's, a, it's you know, how a peek behind the curtain as far as like what I'm looking for or the, how I connect the pieces as I'm watching through stuff before I really start doing like deeper research, digging into the stuff that I haven't been able to find or the pieces that I missed, um, going back, making notes for myself and double checking things, stuff like that. So. You know, we've done two of these. If you haven't seen those, you absolutely should. If you're interested in this series, please make sure you subscribe because this has been a fun one. Well, I, based on the volume of content that there is here, I guarantee that there'll probably be at least one more of these. Um, and like I said, if the film theory does well, I'd love to kind of continue this as an ongoing lore exploration over there as well. So uh, without any further ado, friends, uh, this is Walton Files 2 Relocate Project where we are in the process of figuring out which animatronics are stuffed into which suits. So last time we saw that Banny the bunny, uh, the purple rabbit, is stuffed with uh, a woman named Susan. It looks like Susan Woodings. Um, we started to learn that Shaw, the sheep, uh, is stuffed with a woman named Rosemary, uh, who is the missing CEO uh, Jack Walton's wife, uh, and that she was lured to the back of the burger restaurant or the storage facility, um, I think burger restaurant, where she was, you know, the, the, the usual, when you're talking about content on these channels, the usual, 
uh, brutally, brutally chopped up and, and shoved into an animatronic suit. And the undead soul went on to, to possess the, the metal that it's created by. So cool! Yeah! Uh, so let's continue, friends. Uh, let's, let's continue the relocate project, shall we? Ah, we're starting off in just the, the most feel-good place you can. Great. Okay, so here we go. Already, we're starting off. Um, I'm assuming that this is going to be uh, Rosemary's... Here, print screen. Oh, no, I, no, I, no, thank you. I do not want to save to OneDrive. I just want to print my screen. I want to take that. Um, but I'm assuming this is going to be Rosemary's missing poster uh, image adjustments. So brightness, you can do. Uh, what I've learned over the years is brightness is one method. Exposure actually tends to yield even better results in a lot of cases. Uh, let's see. Missing. Oh, yeah, you're not getting... The problem is just the quality is a bit rough. You can see July right there, J-U-L-Y. July 46th! Some tells me that's not it. <laughs> uh, earlier they did give us the, the date of these tapes, so I bet we could find that out pretty easily. You can kind of see the Y there, the R, um, and this is, let me just make sure that I've got this on the highest quality possible. Yep, four, uh, quality 480p. There you go, friends. Uh, let's try one more thing. But, I mean, it does seem fairly obvious that this is Rosemary's, I just, you know. It's always good to kind of like triple check this stuff. But see how exposure actually gives you a little bit more color differential there that you're able to just accomplish more. It brightens up. It brightens it up in a better way for finding these sorts of like hidden clues. Um, yeah, at, at this point, I think we can reasonably assume that this is Rosemary Walton. But, uh, you know, I wanted to see if we could do another version of it. Okay, here we go. Great. There's Rosemary. Rosemary. Falling footage was recorded during July 1978, uh, 712 to 714, on which three Bunny Smiles technicians volunteered to stay three days at the Bunny Smiles uh, storage facility uh, for the purposes of reprogramming the animatronics. Cool. So the interesting thing about all of these tapes is that they're all released within months of each other, right? They're all in that ninth, July and August 1978 territory. Uh, and if you think back to the first Walton tape, the first Walton tape was uh, early, like 74, and then 82. So we saw 74, 82, and now you're seeing kind of the midpoint in the story. And so it's helping to fill in the gaps, which is really cool. Uh, employees left to right are Ashley, Hillary, Kevin. Hillary, uh, Ashley in the middle, great. Next footage shows the three employees restoring the Bondsburgers' 1974 animatronic. So, but, um, the place itself was open during a short period of time. Which, um, certain number of cases occurred around the area. Certain number of cases. Yeah. And there were complaints from people. That's interesting. So this is the first time that we're, act I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the first time we're seeing the Cyber Fund uh, date of founding because it was censored in an earlier one. Property of Cyber Fund in 1975. So, so Bonsburgers launches and immediately closes in 74 probably due to Jack Walton's disappearance, probably due to Rosemary getting suited, getting uh, chopped up and shoved into a suit. Um, and so now Cyberfun was created the next year in the wake of his disappearance. So that's interesting. I lived near the restaurant about the place playing music during midnight, like two or three in the morning. Just raucous partying in the middle of the night. It was weird because back then the company didn't really worry about hiring night guards. Yep. But yeah, the police they never do. People during the screams of an adult woman inside the restaurant. Okay, screams of an adult woman. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Somehow, Rosemary. The case was reported. Restaurant decided to close the doors. Probably because authorities needed to check the place or something. Pro probably because there was a woman screaming in the back storage areas of the of the. Oops, sorry. Boop, 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 boop. There you go. Probably because a woman was screaming in the back storage facilities of the, of the restaurant every night between the hours of midnight and three in the morning. I don't know. That might be it. What's weird about this is that the last day Bonds was open, they only let like one or two families in. That's interesting. They mentioned later that the animatronics, like the entertainers, were completely absent and the current closed. Huh. That's weird. 
That is odd. Fuck. This horse reminds me of... Oh, censored. The, 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 uh... It's like a chainsaw massacre? Uh, Texas... Ch Hold up. Texas Chainsaw Massacre? I, I get, I, maybe, I don't know. It's more Blair Witchy, the forest. Uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre actually happens in, like, I, I, she does run into a forest, doesn't she? I thought it was more open fields. I don't know. I don't know. You might want to check your horror movie references there. Don't you think I should take some time? I mean, we gotta move on with the others. Didn't nothing seem to ever be my friend. I mean, yeah. Yep. But I think we should make them look as new as possible. The point we that should make them look as new as possible. possible. That's gonna be totally doable when they, they're in this shape. Totally fine. It's totally cool. If we keep focusing on these small details, the reprogramming of the robot can't do anything. Hey, Kevin, I thought we can add the blink and eyes feature on this one. I talk it to really damage. I'm also asking if someone did this intentionally. That's interesting. Okay, so, huh. So calling out the eye, and I was going to say the eye here in this uh, image is very prominently placed. So it seems like someone was trying to sabotage Bon in order to get Bon to stop following him, looking at him, tracking him. Um, and this is also interesting because if we flash back to here... Uh, with the Rosemary story and where we're kind of flashing back to, to what happened to Rosemary, we see that Bon is in his full form, he's new, this and that. So between 1974, when Rosemary and Jack disappear, die, get stuffed in suits, whatever, and 1978, which is when this is happening, you see the robots really enter a state of disrepair, even intentionally get attacked or ripped apart in order to stop them from rampaging. So someone has hopped in to try and destroy them and, and kind of slow them down, which is interesting. What do you mean? Oh, see, there's the, yeah. A good amount of irregularity, sure. Okay, so... So now, okay, mess with the endoskeleton. So now they're starting to seed in that idea of either needing to stop the endoskeletons to stop the possession or like dismantle them so they can't rampage anymore or that the endoskeleton itself is where the soul's possessed spirits are housed in order to um, either use them for their own nefarious devices, cyber fun, or to just kind of like Again, to, to dismantle the robot uh, and preserve the soul kind of thing. Guys. Ah, it is so cold in this place. Look at this key. What? Have you noticed how the company gives us this tiny key but never mentions its purpose? Ha! Huh. Oh, that's so interesting. Cool. I mean, why would they give us a key with no use whatsoever? It's exactly. fair. Perhaps it's a Chekhov's key. Maybe, but we're, uh, we're out of time. We should focus on finishing these robots by tomorrow. Right. Good night. Huh. That is weird. And and they do mention, that's interesting, because they mentioned the key last episode when we were kind of going through. They're like, hey, load up your backpack. And the key is one of the items that you drop in, along with Jack Walton's severed head, because why not? Um, but that's way back earlier. But Hello. Key. This will probably be the last part of today. Really? So, yeah. Bad news. You're probably going to be paid for unsuccessful. Mm -hmm. And a lot of inconveniences when we tried to restore the robot. Tons of damaged parts and the scales and models made it impossible to add the new features. Makes sense. And let's not forget the fact that we didn't have enough time to end the project. Yeah. Wow. I hope we can aggressive. go back with better equipment and better deadline. Okay. Yeah. As Hillary said, we begged the company to allow us to return to a more organized plan. But for now, this ends the reprogramming phase okay. for the uh, uh, re re relocation project. End log. All right. There you go. But, wait a minute. Hey guys, this is Ashley. I'm using the camera because I am planning a binary where this can lead to. You fool, why would you do this at night? I could save the project. I will show this one to you guys once you wake up. I know you guys told me not to wander around, but... Why would you do this alone and at night? That's dumb, guys. No, don't do this, Ashley. It's been a while, but I realized the key leads to this door. Labeled back doors. Labeled back doors. It seems like a small area, so I'll just go take a little peek, see if I can find anything interesting, and then go back. Simple. No, you fool! Uh, I'm huh. Figure out how it 
Oh, yeah, that's that's a great idea. So, uh, uh, interesting. How many doors are here? Oh. There's 12. So, you start with one on the left and it ends, presumably it goes all the way down and back, so six on each side. So, there's 12 doors. Uh, interesting. Okay. 11 or 12. There's some of the rooms with boring stuff. I came across this door, which, uh, which is open. Kind of weird. Yep. Anyway, this room seems to have some spare endo pieces, and from the looks of it, some unused animatronics, I guess. Okay. I won't go into detail about what I find, since I'm in a rush, of course, and... <laughs> Place is scary. Yes, correct. This, this room number 26 or 27? Oh, weird. There's 26 or 27. So there's more than 12. It's a lot more. 26 or 27. Okay. I think, um, as you can see here, there are some, uh... Fair head, nothing I interested in to be on. So she says that, but yeah, no, you can see head? you can see that the camera is also lingering there. So so right there. That's a new guy that we haven't been exposed to yet, this like white and purple bear. Uh huh, that's interesting. So that's a brand new character. So last time we saw hints at a gray rabbit that hasn't been uh, talked about, hasn't been shown, hasn't been addressed yet. Now we have a white purple bear as well being introduced. <laughs> Okay. Oh, here's the great rabbit again. Looks like. Well, this is a bizarre. I can't really tell if this buddy is a robot or a puppet, but like, uh, why is it hanging on the wall? This is really weird. Ooh, okay. Why so is wait. it hanging on the wall? This is really weird. Okay, so this is... This is our puppet stand-in, I guess? Uh, gray rabbit is our marionette, because you notice the strings. She specifically calls out, and again, like, when I'm doing this stuff, right, you're not only asking what is the story telling me, but what is the creator of the story telling me? So you're looking at it from a meta standpoint. And so here, very clearly, whatever the flashlight is choosing to linger on is supposed to be like, are you noticing this? Hopefully the people notice this. And that was the white and purple bear in the last scene. Uh, this scene is very much about the uh, strings and like, oh, I can't tell if he's a robot or a puppet. But I'm seeding out the idea that he's kind of a puppet. Why is he hanging on the wall? Why would he be hanging on? So we have our puppet, Marion. <laughs> that didn't sound like the first audio. Oh, clown. So this is the last door. I'm, oh. I've never oh. seen this clown thing before. Like, there's absolutely no way I'm getting close to that thing. I'll probably wait until you guys see this thing. video and come down here with me so we can take a close. I bet she gets close to that thing. Um, I bet. So this is interesting though. Uh, so she says, I've never seen this clown thing before, but in all the promotional material, or at least some of the early promotional material in the first upload, uh, the 1974 stuff, uh, Billy the Clown was a character, right? He was part of like the canon crew. Um, so it's weird that she wouldn't know who he is. So that implies that either he is a different clown or that he's been like erased from history in some way uh this is also pretty interesting where here let me just i'm gonna grab this real quick um see if there's anything interesting along the edges here uh nope why would you do that why would you do that to me why would you do that to me game why, why are you doing that here boop and print screen boop and come on come on I don't know why Photoshop does that sometimes. Okay, here we go. Um, image adjustments, exposure. Boo, are you going to show me anything new? No, it seems like it falls off almost immediately once you enter the black. Uh, let's just do brightness, just double check. I didn't know if there, like, see how there's some words there? I didn't know if we could maybe see some of that. No, it seems like we're pretty well limited to what is immediately around us. Uh, Curves. Yeah, yeah, you're immediately falling off. Okay, yeah, nothing there. What you see is what you get. Here we go. Uh, but we got 6, 11, 70 question mark, right? 73? You know, it has to come before 78, so. I found this. I'm pretty sure that clown thing had a cassette player installed. Okay, it's June like 28th. So again, they're giving us some dates and images here. So in June 28th of whatever year, we're not sure, but there was only four characters, so the clown so didn't. I guess I'll have to be brave enough to try and see what this whole thing is. 
Bon, so it looks like they might be, they're trying different names of the restaurant. Bon's Pizza. Ha! Ah, Bon's Pizza. There it is. Bon's Pizza. Pizza Bon. Yeah, so I that's just a like money is, Easter egg. That's cute. I don't really know why this dude has cassettes playing with big installs. But my guess is that it's used for, um, for birthday parties. Like, you know, play a customized tape or something? Yeah, I don't know. Sure. But we're about to find out. See? I told you! I told you! She said, I'm not, there's no way I'm getting close to that thing. Fast forward 20 seconds. I gotta put this tape into the clown, into the clown's stomach, sure. Uh, this is obviously very clearly a riff on the fun time animatronics, which is fun. Who had the speakers in their stomach? Nice. Great. Who, who wouldn't want a childhood birthday with this thing supervising. Things are gonna be great. Oh, the sound design. Just... Charles, Rosemary, Sophie. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Jeff. Jeff. Susan. Charles. Charles. Rosemary. Rosemary. Sophie. Sophie. Oh, I don't know what it says at the end there. Um, Jack, Susan, Charles, Rosemary, Sophie. Okay, so we know Jack disappears. We know Rosemary becomes Shaw. We know that Susan becomes Banny. So, and we know that Rosemary and Jack are husband and wife. We don't know who Sophie is. So that tape is either, the way I see it is that tape is either, is doing one of two things, right? It's either giving us the five, original spirits, the five original victims who go on to possess each of the five animatronics, Banny, Shaw, Boozoo, Bon, and uh, Clown, Billy the Clown, I guess. Um, or that's a family, right? I don't think we've seen Charles. I don't think we've heard of a Charles yet. Uh, we know Rosemary and Jack are married. Sophie, unclear but maybe she's a part of the family too. like maybe charles sophie are part of the family although susan susan woodings i think was her name and she wouldn't be a part of the family so huh there's a couple ways to interpret that but that's that right there that's super important oh yeah you're dead oh, you're, get, oh, cool. well thanks for the lore clue i guess Hey, uh, qu quality, congratulations, uh, <laughs> them or uh, Bon himself, he's got both his eyes back in. So, good job, he, he put his eyes together. <laughs> so creepy. The animation style is, is so disturbing. Oh, oof. The sound coupled with these like rudimentary drawings is actually just. Hello, I'm Billy, the, 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 the funny movie clown. Do I like, 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 like to see you, sir? If not, then we're going to be like this. They're like this. Yep, cool. Oh, oh no. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, hey. Okay. <laughs> wow. Ah, so great. So good. I love it so much. Um, couple of, wow. Okay, so first off, here's uh, a hidden YouTube link, so that's good to know. Secondly, we had this. What's this all about? Okay. They left the next day. They thought Ashley left early. <laughs> yeah? Is the, is the restaurant really that big? Uh, is the storage facility really that big that they can't hear the screams of their companion? Great. They left the next day. They thought Ashley left early, but she was in the back doors. She was in the back doors, screaming as much as she could, but no one heard the screams. Uh, the following days, the caretakers would complain about the awful smell coming from the back doors. Company decided to shut down the facility until new advice. The Relay OK project was unsuccessful. Ashley is still there, but she's not screaming anymore. She saw something she wasn't supposed to see, and now she's beautiful. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. That's interesting. So we have this continuation of the theme of characters who are killed by the animatronics becoming beautiful in some way. That's really interesting. Um... We have how the relocate project ends here. Um, 
Ugh, gross. We have some reversed audio here, which is really interesting. I love that we spend all this time installing Photoshop on the computer and then all of a sudden it's like, I need to download the video and do all that um, to do reversed audio. Okay, and then, so we got this. And then credits. And the other voice was cheap text to speech. Oh, look at this rocking. This rocks. Uh, here, I'm just gonna, since there was a hidden YouTube link there, I'm just gonna hold on for a second. Shadow Man sees me when lights go off. Ha 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 ha! Okay. Okay. What was it? It was. Hold up. That's cool. I had a feeling. I, I suspected. This is a. It hides it everywhere. Shadow Man sees me when lights go off. Okay, Shadow Man feeds me when lights go off. Interesting. So Shadow Man is probably calling back to what Matt, Mirror Matt, called out last time, which is that like shadowy figure that appears when uh, Shaw leaves a room. So that's really cool. Uh, oof, what is this? Uh, Buzu, Bon, Banny, Shaw, and there, there's that purple and white bear that was hinted at before. Huh, okay. Shadow Man. Shadow Man feeds me. So earlier there was all that fuss made about how Banny is starving. Um, so that's probably tying in with that. And now here we've got this code. Let's see. What is this? What is this? Uh, oh God. Okay, let me just write it. Uh, it's going to be U2 dot B because it's this means it's unlisted, right? K07. Oh, this would be cool. I love secret videos. Capital Q, lowercase q, E, D, zero, F, Q. Yeah? Yeah? Oh no! Really? <gasps> Is this video unavailable? Shoot. Did I type it in wrong? Video unavailable. Oh no. Did I type it in wrong? That seemed like it should have worked. How do you do, is it you two? Huh. Let me try one more time. You two. Huh. Hey, hey guys! Hi, Bean! How are you, buddy? Yeah. Hi, guys! Whoop, whoop! Khan Academy Kids! Boo do 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 so, uh, sorry, sorry about that brief interruption, little intermission there with a special guest appearance by Ollie. Uh, but uh, with the camera off and with him out of the room, I was able to, to play around a little bit more. I, I looked through the video one more time. I tried a couple of different uh, alternations with uh, zeros and O's because sometimes those are hard to differentiate between. Uh, as, as anyone who grew up with an NES trying to type in massive codes would learn, uh, L's and ones and O's and zeros are literally the worst. Uh, and I found out that I had actually swapped a zero and an O with each other. Uh, so anyway, I did find it. Uh, there is indeed an unlisted video here. Uh, it's called Lucky You, uh, which is really exciting. Uh, I'm really excited about this. So the story of Bonds Burgers goes back to 1958. Oh, wow, okay. Um, where two college students had the same idea of animated performers. The names were Jack Walton and Felix Kranken. It took them 16 years to actually execute this concept. By that time, Kranken and Walton had built their own families. Felix married a beautiful lady, and Walton was not only a great husband, but a happy father of three children. Okay, huh. So I wonder if that's, again, going back to the Charles, Sophie, Rosemary, Jack, um, and Susan... I wonder, happy father of three beautiful, so we know it's a family of five, and Billy the Clown says five people's names that we just heard. I wonder if this is it. Um, and we have not seen anything of Felix and the beautiful lady that he married, so this is interesting. Okay, so this is exciting. This is a secret video just found off of that one link towards the end of the last video, uh, which is cool. So I'm excited. I
I, I don't know, hidden videos, unlisted videos are always really exciting to me. Um, people who hide unlisted videos, it's just really cool. So here we go. Let's see what we've got. I would assume, because it's unlisted, it might have more lore than typical. Because it shows that you're just, like, invested in this thing at this point. Let me turn this up, let me turn this up. Okay, Bond's Burgers, we've seen this before. Oh, oh, okay, opening day. 628-1974. Family fun for all ages. Open at 10 a.m. Okay, wow, nice. Open at 10. Good job, guys. Way to start early. Okay, so this is opening day footage, presumably. First birthday party. 630-1974. Okay. Oh, cool. So this is giving us, like, the timeline. Last show is before closure. 710. What was it? 710. Sorry, one second. 710 to 719. Okay. Wow. So it was only in operation because opening day was where? Opening day 628. 628. Two days later, it does the birthday. And then literally less than a month after it opens, it's closing. Yeah. That's crazy. All right. Last shows before closure. Huh. Which means that something has changed, right? Thank you for the smiles, Bonds Burgers. Oh, there it is. This is telling us. 628.74 to 720.74. Wow. This is amazing. I love the fact that the timeline is just being explicitly laid out for this is wild. Okay. You don't even need to speculate. Who's this? What is this? That looks like it's... It looks like it's Bonds' bottom half because of the blue because of the blue and white, but the top half looks more human. 1031, 1974. Okay, so this is after it's been closed and condemned. Maybe that, and that's also Bond's red tie. Maybe that's just Bond looking out on Halloween or something. Weird. Storage facility K9. We've known this. Later that year, so by the end of 74, although... To be fair, so this is 12, 10, 74, but property of Cyberfund in 75. So a little bit of uh, weirdness with the dates there. It's just giving us the timeline. This is great. Oh, geez. Uh, what do we got here? Shipping codes, 12, 15, 11. Huh. So I wonder if, okay, so K9, K9, K9. So these are all to be shit. So these tags are, oh, this is exciting. Sorry, I'm just really... I'm excited when things come together, right? And it's off of a cool unlisted video that we found. Um, so K9 is the shipping facility. They all wind up in K9. Uh, 11, 12, 13. I'm wondering if this relates to the rooms in the back doors area that we just learned about from Ashley's little adventure with her key. I would guess yes. 123.75. So they're all kind of like thrown back there. But you'll notice that Bond still has both his eyes. So they haven't been attacked or gouged out yet. Oh, so now we're rewinding a little bit to 611. 74. 611. Something happening? So this is... Ooh, hello. You must be so confused about what you saw. Don't be scared, my little bunny. Answers will be given eventually, but don't try to solve this puzzle only with the pieces you have so far. This huh. is only the beginning. For I'm going to tell you a story of broken people. Beautiful Ooh. people. He is so sorry about what he did to them, but there's nothing he can do. Remember that. Safety and pills, Sophie. 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 Okay, that's Safety Bills, and pills, Bills, Sophie. Bills. Safety and pills, Sophie. Sophie. Safety and pills, <laughs> Sophie. Do you think there's safety and pills, Sophie? Uh huh. Safety and pills, Sophie. Here, real quick before we let, let this play anymore. Um, you must be confused, but so what happened at six eleven? Because six eleven seventy four, and our opening date is six twenty eight. So it's even before it opens. 
something happens and it I would be brightening these images but they're uh, looking at the screen right now I'm not seeing anything that I'm like oh yeah this absolutely would have to be brightened uh, this isn't leading me anywhere like it, uh, I don't think I see anything there that would be worth like brightening. <laughs> this is Brian Stelz's death Safety this is pills. Ashley's death. Safety and pills, Sophie. Safety and pills, Sophie. Safety and pills, Okay, this is the purple Sophie. white bear. Safety and pills, Sophie. Oh, weird. Sophie. Okay, well, there's Sophie. Safe. Oh, there it is. Okay, so, all right, all right, now we're getting somewhere. So, I don't know what the white bear is. I mean, maybe he's representative of the pills? Um... But this tells us Sophie Walton, right? So she is also a member of the family. So we now know that Jack Walton, Rosemary Walton, Sophie Walton, which then leads us to believe that both Chris, uh, which we heard from the Billy, uh, the Billy cassette tape, and Susan Woodings is also formerly a Walton and must have gotten married. Um, and I think that's our Walton family. Those are the five members of the Walton family. Um... I'm going to tell you a, a story of broken people. He regrets what he did, but there's nothing you can do to bring him back. That's interesting. Jack? Is it Jack or Felix? That's, I think that's the question right now. You know that the, the, he did something wrong and he regrets it. He feels sorry about it. Is either Jack or Felix, right? Like they are the main characters. They're the CEOs. They're the ones who are kind of like supervising this. And there seems to be tension between them. So it seems like... One of those two is what that's in reference to. Great. Oh, love that. Love that. Oh, can't you see? I made them beautiful. I don't know how. I didn't even mean to. But I did. I made them beautiful. They try to talk to us. Through analog. They will be heard. <coughs> this is. Excuse me. This is their cry for help. Besides, they want us to know what happened that year. So seventy-four. But we must be patient. Oh, hey, an anim endoskeleton. Look. They are filled with life. They dance to the music. Oof. They laugh and sing along. Are they? Are they laughing and singing along right now? They're perfect. Okay, there it is. That makes sense to me. They're beautiful. There it is. Huh. We'll see you soon. Oh, they will see. You. Okay. 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 So. That explains the, the beautiful stuff. I think what this is ultimately boiling down, and we obviously we still have one other key upload here. There's a bunch of non-canon stuff that I don't know is like I'll, I'm gonna watch it just because a lot of times the non-canon or questionably canon stuff informs the main story or might tie in in some way. Um, but before hopping into kind of the third upload here, the the beauty versus not beautiful thing. It seems like this is a story of human failings. That this is a story of uh, mankind uh, disappointing, failing, uh, losing in some way, and by becoming a robot, by becoming an animatronic, they're, they're, they become beautiful, they become perfect. They lose their human insecurities, their human failings, and being a robot is like ascending form. Uh, so that's that whole, you will be beautiful, you will be perfect, uh, because the robots have no errors, they... they exist in a perpetual happy state um they are not fallible in any way uh sophie so sophie seems to actually be our main she's she's our mike stand in it feels like so uh michael afton is kind of our through line through the main fnaf games sophie seems to be our stand in here where sophie must have had a tragic event been part of one of these traumatic events and then is prescribed pills or is taking pills in order to forget them or recover or deal with the stress or emotional trauma at the very beginning of the series um there's that reversed audio that says 
because I, I, in researching these theories, I've started to like reverse the audio off of these streams. And it, it says like, hey, uh, you're finally starting to remember, they will come for you, Sophie. And here again, we have that reiterated, they, they will see you soon, Sophie. Um, but you're finally starting to remember, right? That line that was in, it's one of the first lines that you're presented with in this story, but it's in reverse. Um, seems to say that Sophie is recovering her memories whether that's through the pill, I, I feel like the pills might be blocking the memories, and so she needs to stop taking them or something, and it feels like maybe the white bear is representative of the person who is either giving her the medication or represents the medication itself. Uh, so that's really interesting. That's a very cool upload, very explicit, actually, in the timeline, which I really appreciate. Um, cool, cool. Uh, so with that being said, now it's time to hop into Walton Files 3, which is the final uh, official, we know, canonical one. Uh, some of these other ones, like Mysterious House, Boozoo's Ghosts, I believe are questionable canonicity. This one we know is. So this, wow, this one's really long. It's an hour. We'll see what we do with this one. Um, let's start it. We'll see how it goes, and then maybe I'll do another one where I just edit it, because I don't want to do like a full hour long, like we're just going to sit here and watch this for an hour. Uh, I don't think that would be fair to Martin Walls or to you guys, like, I can't imagine that there's an hour full of like, let's talk and let me actually react, but maybe we'll do a, I'll watch it, we'll cut down the reactions, but let's see where it goes, just off the top, because we're just finishing on time here. Okay, so now we're flashing through what's come before. Yep, these are all clips from the previous tapes that we've seen. Oh, wait, 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 that wasn't, though. This is new. Okay, so these are all tapes that we've seen. This this we've seen. Yep, Relocate Project we've seen. This shot we've seen. This we've seen. That's Susan Woodings. Opening in Brighton, Mich Brighton, Michigan. Come join the party. Okay. I like that there's a place now, Brighton, Michigan. I think we knew that before. Did we know that? 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Nice. Wow, it's a kid's restaurant that, like, lasts a long time. Oh, wow. So, the, oh, wow. So, there you... Local 57. Is it... No. It's... No, this is... The, it must just be, like, a, a tongue-in-cheek joke. It's Local 58, isn't it? Local... Yeah, it's Local... Ha! That's funny. I'm like, it's not 57, right? It's Local 58. There it is. <laughs> uh, it, that's a great reference. I'm like, oh my gosh, is this connected? I, it wouldn't make sense from a lore standpoint, but I thought that would be fun. Local 58. Okay, so local 57. Uh, cool. But this is telling us the forest that Brian Stells gets killed in, right? San, San Juan, Juana's forest. St. Juana's. Juana's. Okay, that's... That was Brian Stells, wasn't it? Or is that Susan? Oof, okay, wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Wow, there it is a lot of stuff here. Uh, Boozu, okay, we saw the condemn. Yeah. We saw the let me out of here. We've seen that. Seen this, seen this. We saw the pills. We just saw the pills in the hidden video, but if you hadn't seen it, that would be new information. Ooh, that's an, is that a missing poster? That we, I'm assuming we've seen this missing poster before, but let's just double check. That looks like Jack's missing poster. Yes. We had seen K9 facility, that's Brian Stells, and that's Brian. Do we know who that is? Maybe not. Sophie. Oh, geez, man, man, this just goes and goes and goes. Holy jeez. There's the sleeping bags that we just saw. There's Boozu. This is terrifying. This like real the the real life old timey photos just creep me out to no end. Um, it's like Miss Peregrine's uh, school for peculiar children where they just mix it. Like he, the whole story was based off of him finding a bunch of like creepy old photos and trying to cobble a story together. Yep, and just disturbing across the board. Uh, interesting. Okay, so I'm assuming that this is Sophie. And this is Sophie, like, flashing through her, like, her memories coming back, or, like, the fragments of her memories coming back. Okay, they keep cycling through the same, okay, they keep cycling through the same images. Same images, same images, same images. It's just a cycle to fill out the time. Okay. 
Well, hey, another secret code. Uh, YouTube slash H. So I'm assuming the next half of that logo or that link is going to be hidden elsewhere. But now we know. Sophie, there it is. Sophie Walton. Yep. 22 years old. Born 1960. So this is putting us in 82. Oh, 82. 82. I love that she looks like a me. <laughs> um, 82 is the year that Brian Stells dies. Uh, oh, which, okay, connecting dots again, which really strongly infers that Sophie, uh, Brian was killed and they say, he says when he's dying, like, they thought I was her or they mistook me as her or whatever. They, they thought I was someone else. I, they must have thought it was Sophie. So it seems like the animatronics are trying to bring the family back together through the delightful, uh, you know, the delightful unifier of death and being stuffed into a robot suit, so that's cool. Jenny, wait, what? Jenny Letterson, 26, born 1956. Oh, this is a different person, okay. Oh, oh my gosh, footage from October 15th, 1982, okay. So this is kind of the most recent information we've got. Presumably. Bunny Smiles Games. Cyberfun Tech, okay. Oh cool, so now we've launched into the video game. Beta tester. The golden ticket. Oh, look at us, we're so lucky. We get to test out a buggy game for all its secret secret lore bits. Video game tie-in? 75 to 82. Yeah, this I love it. So this is this is like Pet Scott. This is this is Snap in reverse, right? Instead of starting with a game and launching into uh, a narrative book series and things like that, now it's going the opposite way. Here's the narrative series that we're launching into the game. Bunny Farm coming to a, a video game near you. Getting video game console. I they gotta release this, right? They've gotta be making this. This is the game I wanted to show you. So. Oh, huh. nice. Yeah, I played it for a while. I thought you would enjoy it. <laughs> so pet scoppy. Thanks. Also, uh, they installed the machine in the basement of the building not so long ago, so please try to be careful. Okay. The janitor told me these are hella expensive. And delicate Wicked too. expensive, oh, you might say. I see. So, do I start the game? Yeah, let's go. Huh. So, right. Jenny's so just you Okay, okay, well, ha, 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 here we go. So we got a bunch of save files. There's always, ah, there's always secret stuff in save files. Okay, uh, if Petscop and everything has taught me anything, uh, let's turn off captions just so I can see what that bottom thing is. Okay, so, uh, that's interesting. Chris, so presumably, uh, that is, we're assuming now, because Chris was in the five names, that's her brother. I don't know if she knows she has a brother. J the janitor played Star Labs. Interesting. So we haven't seen any mention of, like, I don't think, Star Labs. Uh, Buddy Smiles test. File, file. Jenny has played. And then Buddy Smiles test. Okay. But we have Chris, which is really interesting. Okay. So you got to choose a name now. <laughs> I see your name over there. <laughs> yeah, but the idea is that you play the game from scratch. So, so again, uh, what I talked about earlier, and, and a lot of this series has been us talking about the, the art of theory crafting in the first place. This is, again, take a step back and put yourself in the creator's shoes, not in the narrative shoes. The creator very clearly wants to draw our attention to, hey, look through that list of names and see what doesn't make sense. Uh, what's, what should we notice? Um, so in the, in the script, right, he calls out, oh, you got to make sure that, oh, I see your name over there, Jenny. But the real intent is to lure you down to the bottom where you can see Chris and, or Star Lab, you know, some of those things that don't really fit. And you're like, huh, I wonder what those are. I see. Uh, put my name over here then. So. <laughs> ah, censor. I can't go back. So. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Soapy! Huh. That's great, actually. I love that. That's really cool. Soapy, that's adorable. Jack. Jack's picture on the All wall. right, gang. Gather around. What is it, Mr. B? Oh, man, look at this yeah, game. what is it, Bob? Look at the oh, graphical fidelity. Don't tell me you guys forgot about today. Any oh, 
<laughs> Whoa, hey, okay, no, anyway. Uh, wow, a lot of flashes. There, there's a lot of flashing in this one. It's really interesting. Uh, nothing, okay. Oh, oh, I know, I know, ask me, please, I know, ask me. Anyone else? Wait, were things disappearing? There's, uh, these videos are really dense. It seemed like there was something, fla yeah, there is stuff flashing back there, you see it? The, the white. Is it, it could be just people coming and going or moving around. Anyone it doesn't else have to be a ghost aside thing. from Benny? <sighs> All right, Benny. What day is it today? Why, today is the annual fruit festival. We do a huge party on the restaurant every year. They, they do a party on the rest, not in the restaurant, mind you. They do a huge party on the restaurant. Like, in the restaurant is too mainstream. But partying on the restaurant, that's oh, where it's at. Oh, I forgot about that. Ooh, oh, zoo. heavens, me too. Well, I'm sure this party is much better than last year's, right? Wow. Oh, wow, okay. A lot of, lot, again. Doing a lot of flash. I'm not seeing anything in the flashes, though, which I, I guess is good, because it means I'm not having to brighten everything. But there's a lot of them happening. Sure, this party is much better than last year's, right? Wow. And you would think that the reference to last year's would... Baskets. You guys brought fruits, right? Uh, no. Banny! Oh, what are we gonna do? Oh no! Is the fruit festival cancelled, Mr. B? I don't oh, think anyone cares about the fruit festival. Oh, I couldn't help but know. Dumb salamanders? <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> Got them. Sick burn their bond. Oh, I couldn't help but notice you guys need fruits real quick. My bond's filled with all kinds of fruits. Okay, so we got a new character, Say, Hippo. Why don't you guys do me a small favor and I'll give you all the fruits you need? Oh, this is interesting. Okay, Barn Adventure. That is what the last video ended with, right? So Shadow Man feeds me when lights go off. Uh, I th we're in the. Uh, this is that video game. So that last screen that they flashed up of the barn and everyone around the barn, I think, was just them teasing Upload Three, right, and where it was. Love barns. I want to see the pigs and the chickens and the animals and the barns and the pigs. All right, Pete. We'll help. Pete fun. Hippo. Oh, oh, that one seemed like it might have had something. No, it's just everyone was off screen, okay. And still nothing. Come on, all of us working. Really? Oh, Billy. What? Well, what do we mean? What is Billy's role in all this? What is the well, deal with Billy? Really? Well, we'll do it. It'll be fun. All of us working all together to save the festival. Really? What? Just. Well, what do we mean? Weird. That's super random. I don't know about that one, Liz. The hippo. Hmm. You know, something I like about the game is the, the, uh, the artwork. Banny loves birds. She loves to hear birds sing too. Do you I don't know why, but there is something about it that seems uh, really familiar to me. Huh. Does Jenny know? I should show you the controls. Okay, so that's the question I have is, does Jenny know? Like, is she purposely showing this to Sophie, knowing that it's going to... Because I'm assuming this is going to activate, like, Sophie's memories, right? So it's going to wake her up, in a way. Uh, the question is, how much does Jenny know, I think, is the, the big question mark here. Playing later on. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, okay, so you use this thing to move around. Oh, man, it's FNAF World all over okay. again. And you use these buttons to interact. FNAF World! Don't do it! Apples. Yeah, You're gonna... I played this game for a while. Mm -hmm. You're gonna you're gonna have to take it down from from Steam and then refund everyone and then release it for free and then it's gonna hang over your head for years and people are gonna make jokes about it and you're gonna have all these awkward spin-off titles and it's gonna be a legacy and people are gonna wonder about the canonicity of it. Just going down the wrong path. I noticed a, a bit of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this game looks very unfinished. <laughs> I saw a ton of errors and yeah, shit world while vibes again. the levels, and it crashed a couple of times, too. Huh. Hmm. That's strange, but then again, the game Maybe taking more cues from FNAF than you thought, huh? When we turned on the machine. Yeah, when BSI installed these machines, they clarified that as well, but here's the thing. These glitches are very... creepy, if I'm totally honest. Um, that's why I wanted to show you this in the first place. Huh, I know okay. you're into that BSI? kind of... Funny Smiles Incorporated. Have I heard that name before? Yeah, that was super popular. I mean, that company there you has go. been pretty relevant these past few weeks. 
Yeah. Did you hear? What? What happened? Some weird rumors and shit. Apparently, there was this one employee that drove, the drove to some Okay, so this is after Brian Stelzel's death, yeah. Not too far away from here, actually. He hasn't been seen around ever since he drove to that place. Yep. Really? Yeah. The word got out quickly. Some family members say it was his first day. Sure. Yep, this makes sense. Well, what's his name? Brian um, Stelz. Brian. Brian. Brian? Yeah, see? Okay. Well, I hope he's doing all right. Same. Well, who knows? Maybe he's okay. I mean, it's been a while since he was last seen, right? Brighton's not that big of a town anyways. They would have found him by now. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Reminds me of this other girl. There are ways to hide a body. There's more? Oh, other girl. Okay. This young employee named Ashley. Oh, okay, Ashley. So they're catching us up on kind of stuff we have already figured out, so. She became... Young adult. (laughs) That's just funny. Sorry. (laughs) Young adult. That's this is a this is a perfectly natural conversation that we're having here. She was a young adult. <laughs> Urban legend around here. Why? People say she died inside of some old bunker from the company. Her body was never found. Most say she was privately buried. Others say she's still in still in that place. So That's funny that uh, made up story to get low kids. They were showing Banny. Yeah, we should. Probably just continue with the game. <laughs> yeah, who wants to hear about this kind of thing while playing some child game? Right? <laughs> Perfectly natural conversation between two normal female twenty somethings. <laughs> Bobble the hippo was the original owner of the town. He had two sons, Pete and Johnny. Bobby made the promise of creating the best quality barn in the world. Rip Bobby. Older year, other year. You good, Sophie? Oh, That's funny. yeah, I was just thinking about... I don't know, um, the horrific stories of murder and disappearance anyways, that you told me about? so do I have to, like, do I have to go to a certain character, or...? Ah, um, if you get close to a certain character, it'll let you access their level. Oh, neat. Oh, Shaw. Let's play Shaw's level. Hmm. Eh, I don't like this one. It looks boring. Wow! Oh, Shaw's my fire. favorite character. Oh well, it's up to you, really. Man, look at you, Judgey McJudgerson. I didn't think you had as strong of opinions about these characters. Based on how, like, nonchalant you are about this whole thing. Yeah, whatever. Why are they focusing on this? That was, so this is one of those, so again, this is one of those moments where it's a weird, it's a very weird moment to hang on, and it makes me wonder what's going on. So it makes me think that it's the number of cows Three, four, five, six cows. So six. So the number six, right? There's six apples in the tree. There's six flowers in the ground. There's six cows. So six, six, six. Something about six. Six. Yeah. It's just a, right. It's a weird moment to pause on. You're like, why does this matter? Is it because it glitched? So after the glitch, what happened here? One, two, three, four, five. There is one more cow now. It, like glitched into another extra cow. It's also so to be fair, right? So obviously they didn't make a video game. This is all being done in kind of like keyframing animations. That I I would expect, right? Like, um, you know, it's it's the character just being animated. It's not actually like playing a video game to tell this part of the story. Unlike Pet Scout, where I think they probably did actually make the game. Um, that could also be just used to hide a cut, honestly. Uh, and maybe that's why there's more cows there. So instead of doing, because this would be really hard to map out in real time, match with the VO, stuff like that. Um, So that could just be a production hiccup too, where they needed a moment to pause, have a relatively stationary screen where nothing's really going on, and just fuse multiple takes together. So I could see that being the case too, which is why you get six cows and then seven. I like apples too. (laughs) Great. Maybe you should do his level. Do a level. How about Billy? Billy Clown, he's creepy. I like the clam one. You, you oh, are a fool. Press this button? That is incorrect. I like the clown one is not the correct answer. Uh, see, I told you this game was a little broken. Okay, I, was, I can tell. <laughs> you know, right. I keep thinking about bunny smiles. It sounds so familiar. <laughs> That's this so game weird. Is the compression. Back so many memories, but it's 
so hard to just remember exactly. Uh, uh, sorry, um, probably just boring memory. you with random thoughts of mine. There it I'll is. Stop. No, 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 not at all, Sophie. However, I do, uh, I gotta do some other stuff. I got this one essay I need to finish. I'll see you around. I'm gonna show you, <laughs> okay. Unclear whether it's writing or not, but it's, it's, I, I, I'm really excited to show you this game, but I, I gotta go do this other thing. So you just play this game, okay? Bye, see ya. Oh, alright. Just talk to me in case you have any questions regarding the game, okay? Yeah, yep, sure. Yeah, sure. Hi, Barn. Wait, can you be in the barn with the rest of the game? Yeah, everything perfect. I'm supposed to solve this fight, but most of the stuff I need is located in the ridiculously complex puzzles. Say, could you help me out to solve the puzzles? Sure. Ridiculously complex. All right. First, we need to get the party hats. They should be in the big. All right. Good track. Now we need. Ooh. Great. <coughs> yep. Love this. Is that clear even there? Hi. Hello. All right. All cool. Right. How do I? Uh, Sophie, no reaction to any of that. It's totally fine. Yeah. It was supposed to be glitchy. Cool. You know, level of functionality slightly above FNAF World. Great. I love a man. No animatronic themed horror restaurant story is complete without its own 8-bit minigame. Am I right? Classic. Is something happening? I feel like I should be seeing something. See Bond running around. Nothing too much. You gonna let me in? <laughs> he's just he's just dancing. I hear these puzzles are supposed to be ridiculously hard. Oh wait, okay, wait, okay. Okay, there's that there's the purple right. and white bear again. First we need to get the party hats. They should be in the basement. Oh, now we're getting to the basement. There we go. Yeah, let's get into the basement. That's where... That's where the real gameplay begins, let's be honest. This game is very broken. More than I thought. Right. I don't know if Sophie would continue at this point. I think she'd be like, alright, my friend's gone. I don't need to play this thing anymore. This is garbage. I'm done. Peace out. All right. Huh, it's weird that the rocket lingered. It's an interesting detail. Ah, the basement. Beautiful. The, the machine that... Do I have to... Oh, I see. Ah, she figured it out. Cool. Yeah, did you figure it out? Oh, okay. Okay, what's it gonna pump out? Pencil? Is that a pencil? Are you playing tic tac toe? Uh, oh, nice! Weird. Very bizarre. Way to claim oh. that middle spot. Top center, top center. Top center, no, you fool. Block him. Yeah, there you go. Oh. There it is. Leave, leaving the door wide open. The quality hey. AI. Got him. There we go. There we go. Boom! <laughs> Gameplay for the win. Great. Do we get a gift? Yes. Give me, give me the gift. Give me that gift, eh? Give me the gift, eh? Show me the gift. Oh! Uh, what's that? <laughs> what? <laughs> I like how casual she is about the, like, smushed human face that she has Jenny? <laughs> there it is. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This is... I, I had a slow start, but now we're ramping up. Oh, there's... Okay, there's Grave on you. Christ, 
never mind. <laughs> yep, great, cool. So good, so good, I'm so good with this. Whoa, weird. Ooh, so we're breaking, okay, so we're done with the gameplay stuff now, I guess? Footage from October 16th, 1982, okay, and this is the, I'm guessing this is the Grey Puppet, this is, so we've touched the Grey Puppet, which is leading us to a new recording. It exactly <laughs> happened yesterday. I don't know, the game just, it just crashed. I was so playing and the game just kept showing weird visuals. Yeah, you think? Yeah, it was so weird, like if I was being told something, I guess. Huh. Like a message? Maybe. Maybe the message was subtar <laughs> subscribe what? to so Game Theory. This game is haunted subscribe to Film Theory to unlock the I mysteries of the series. There was a time where I was playing and there would be times which I would do certain stuff that would cause the game to glitch and display some bizarre visuals and stuff. This thing is, thing is glitchier Anyways, than Superman it's 64. Getting very late. You sure you want to play right the now? Worst game I've ever Why played. not just wait so we can play together? Tomorrow morning. Right? Play together. I mean, you can go to sleep if you want, Jenny. Alright. Good night, Sophie. Good night. Perfectly normal conversation okay, between two girls. This. Yeah, Sophie. Still continuing? Ooh, hey. Uh, that was just Grey Bunny, I think, again. Right? Yeah. So the Grey Bunny is becoming really important now. So the Grey Bunny and the White Bear seem to be... Tr b competing or both trying to wake Jenny or not wake Jenny wake Sophie up from this uh, they both seem to be tied to her memories the medication her recollection of events which is interesting um, there's a high chance bunny farm file data has been corrupted or its information has been altered or replaced by a third party <laughs> hmm that's not concerning at all we recommend you unplug the machine immediately opening the file may lead to unknown glitches and errors in the levels if you do want to continue, however, we warn you that the machine could suffer major changes and, in its worst case, a complete shutdown, deleting all valuable information. Do you still want to continue? Um, well, I do want to continue, but I can't today because uh, we've gone on for long enough. But hey, we got to finish Relocate Project. We got a decent chunk into part three, and we got the secret video, which is cool. We even got a secret Ollie cameo. So, uh, interesting stuff. This third one is a real departure, really breaking from kind of what's come before. Much slower paced. You can tell that it was a little bit harder, I think, for them to kind of create this part of the story by recreating the video game stuff. Uh, it's That's just it. It's just hard to do. It's a lot of, it, like, very clearly, this is a lot of animation, keyframing, timing. It's, it's a very complicated process. So this part of the story feels a lot slower, feels like it's taking a lot more time to kind of get to stuff. Um... So next time we hop into this, I will probably, uh, you know, maybe cut up some of this or, you know, slim it down a little bit. Uh, so the next time we hop into this, I'll probably like chop some stuff up or slim it down a little bit. That way it kind of has a little bit smoother flow. There's a little bit less dead time as it, it figures itself out. Or who knows, maybe now that it's starting to glitch, it kind of picks up. Um, interesting. It's interesting stuff. I think we've gotten a lot of... I think we've gotten a lot right so far in the lore, right? We've known that the Walton family was all related and that there we were suspecting that there was five people. It really seems like uh, Chris is kind of the lost member right now, so he's the only one that we haven't gotten in touch with. Um, it seems like this is all about Sophie's memories coming back to the forefront, uh, and we'll see kind of what tra tragedy that unlocks uh because you know if the memories are buried and you know people are drugging you to kind of keep those memories buried you know something exciting is on the other side of those memories so i guess that is what we'll find out next time as we probably wrap up and conclude this initial exploration and catch up of what the walton files has been up to over the last uh, year or so uh so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and as always i'll see you in the next video so in the meantime it wasn't live but it was a video for you Thanks for watching.